Hey guys, Alex from Seventh Hour Films back again with Demon Slayer. Last time on Demon Slayer, we had something more important than life, where basically, uh, Tanjiro fought the drum demon and was able to beat him. We also got a bit of backstory on the drum demon. Uh, Q, uh, was it Kyogai? Q, Kyudai? Q, something. Drum demon. Uh, and yeah, so he, he was once a failed writer. He was told that all of his work was pointless, useless, trite, stuff like that. And uh, in his anger, he became one of the 12 Kizuki. But Tanjiro is such a good boy that even when all of his uh, writing was on the floor, Tanjiro never stepped on it. And yeah, Tanjiro was able to uh, use his water breathing and he killed, uh, killed the drum demon. But before he died, he did, uh, he did tell him that... Uh, he was impressed by his blood demon art, so it gave him some peace at the end. Meanwhile, uh, Zenitsu and Borman Frank made it out of the uh, mansion, and Borman Frank wanted to attack uh, Nezuko, but Zenitsu knew that the box was important to Tanjiro, so he is uh, guarding it with his life. Uh, and it was a pretty good moment for Zenitsu. Not a very good moment for Borman Frank. And then Tanjiro got out there, and now it took him like a minute, but he's he finally went and is going to put a stop to Borman Frank and his Frankie ways. Anyway, that was pretty much last episode. So yeah. Like always, the reaction is down in the description and in the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. So let's go ahead and jump right into this episode of Demon Slayer. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, that was, uh, that was a lot. That was a lot. Man, uh, so the problem is that he's jealous. Is that Tanjiro ruined his marriage, sent his protector away. Also, he could just be with a cute girl. Hmm. Yeah, no, buddy, it's, uh, it's his sister. He also just forgot the demon part. But, yeah. It's his sister. Granted, that does not stop some anime. We all know that does not stop some anime. But that is not the case in this one. I hope. <sighs> he has said that Nezuko's really cute, but... No. I hope not. I hope there's no sort of thing. Brocon, Siscon. I don't think so. I bet the internet thinks so, though. Some people on the internet will think so. Changing subjects. Anyway. But yeah. Um, okay. That was a lot. Well, we've already had our turn back for uh Borman Frank in Osuke. I may still call him Borman Frank. I don't know how long that's going to last, but um it reminds me of the early days of My Hero Academia when we used to have our villains Too Many Hands Man and the Well-Dressed Man with a Phantom Head. Those were the days, weren't they? Before the times of Shigaraki and Kurogiri. And before the time of Inosuke, there was Borman Frank. Meh. So yeah. Uh, well, first off, we can talk about uh, the hand-to-hand -hand fight. I thought that was interesting. Uh, and just the, the whole thing of, you know... Demon Slayer... Demon Slayers are not meant to fight each other, which makes sense. They cannot raise their swords against each other, but I like that he takes that as, well, then we'll fight with our hands. So, that was pretty fun. And honestly, I gotta say the animation on that fight was really, really good. Like, I could use some more hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Like, honestly, I, mean, I don't know what studio does this show. Hmm. I 
wonder if I could look it up. I wonder if it's like, I wonder if it's Wit. It's it's certainly not Mappa. Th those are the only two studios I know. But I'm actually gonna look it up because, which is a strange thing to look up, but because I was thinking with some of that, I was like, man, that reminds me of like old school Dragon Ball before the the big punchy fights in space. I'm talking like original Dragon Ball. Back when the show was about martial arts, which it honestly is my favorite part of Dragon Ball. Um, so yeah, so honestly, that this studio, this team clearly is good at doing hand-to-hand -hand fights. If I could spell correctly. Unfotable. Okay, I don't think I've heard of that one. They don't have a... Oh, wait. Here we go. Unfotable. Let me look real quick. Have they done anything else I know? Uh, looks like they do uh, They do some of the Fate series, but I don't even know. The only thing I know about the Fate series is there's the one pink-haired boy that everybody likes. That's all I know. I don't really recognize anything else, unfortunately. Unless maybe the films? No. I mean, they do a bunch of films, but it's a lot of, like, Fate, Stay Night, and Demon Slayer stuff. So, unfortunately, I don't recognize uh, anything else the studio does. And my fucking... Oh, my God. I hate when sometimes the, the touchpad on my laptop just has a seizure and dies. It's very inconvenient. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't see any... I don't recognize anything else, so... But, honestly, yeah, that was, like, really, really good animation. It all felt really nice, very weighted. And it's interesting that of the fights we've had so far, like, that's kind of been the most impressive to me. But, I mean, the sword fights are good, and the demon fights are good, but... The something about that hand to hand was really, really good. Even though, uh, even though Inosuke, like he did the Black Widow thing where he, you know, you jump and then you freaking scissor them with your legs and you spin around and do stuff. He spun around on Tanjiro like eight times, you know. It was kind of goofy, but at the same time, he's pretty goofy. So, so yeah, Boreman Frank, uh, and it's also interesting that. This guy, you know, he's so jacked, he's so freaking manly, but then, you know, you remove the boar head, and he has this, which honestly, I didn't even notice it until they pointed it out, it's like he has this sort of, I guess, more feminine complexion, you know, not not exactly what you'd expect from, you know, you would expect, you know, you practically expect, you know, you know, long hair, grizzled beard and stuff, like, of course you'd expect chest hair on this dude too, but I guess we don't know how old he is. I would imagine he's probably the same age as Tanjiro, so... Um, I, I imagine the three of them are around the same age, so... Maybe the, the chest hair hasn't quite come in yet, but... Oh, it will. It will. But yeah, you would expect him to, like, you know, have a beard or, you know, have a scar or something like that. And he's just a very handsome young man, you know? But... So that was interesting. And it's also just interesting... You know, we get just the vaguest hint of a backstory that, you know, one day a demon slayer was on his mountain, so he challenged him to a test of strength, and when he won, he took his sword, and after that, he just went and joined the demon slayer corps, and that was that. And, yeah, he just, he wants to test his strength against, you know, strong opponents, and to him, the strongest opponents are demons, and that makes sense, you know? But considering the fact that he says, you know, he can't read or write, and he started to say, you know, the only reason he knows his name is because the only reason he got his name is because it was written and then he stopped. Uh, so I would imagine, like, he was abandoned on a mountain. I don't know. Maybe he was raised by a hermit or something. But... But yeah, but that was interesting. I mean, honestly, it's, it kind of gets a little Goku-ish when you stop and think about it, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, he definitely seems like he's just a guy with very little human interaction, you know? Here's a guy who just really likes strength, and he honestly acts like a child, you know? 
But I love that pretty much immediately Tanjiro figures out how to communicate with him. You know, how to get him to do things. So the whole thing with the burial was interesting. Because, yeah, he's like, ah, I don't, we don't need to bury people. What's the point? They're dead. Just leave them, you know? But I just spat on my table. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hope that didn't pick up on camera. Um... But yeah, so he's like, oh, we don't need to bury people, whatever. So, he, you know, he just doesn't know. He doesn't know any better. But I like, you know, how Tanjiro says like, oh, well, you did get injured. You must be pretty tired. Why don't you go rest? You know, me, Zenitsu, and the kids, we'll deal with the, we'll deal with burying uh, all the bodies. And that, you know, got him. I was like, well, no, wait, I, I'm not tired. I can do it. So he, he went and did it. And it's the same thing, you know. He'll take, uh, he'll take some of their food you know, just because he doesn't know any better. Well, even he even said that like, he was trying to provoke Tanjiro because he wants to fight him, you know? So he was trying to provoke Tanjiro by doing that. But Tanjiro was just like, oh, here, you know, why don't you have some more? And, you know, once it's offered to him, he's like, no, I don't want that anymore. So I like that Tanjiro immediately figures out. And I'm going to, I'm going to assume that's because he does have, I, he at least had one little brother, you know? But I imagine just having younger siblings, being the oldest of the family, I think he understood that, you know? So, so that was really interesting. I, I like that Tanjiro immediately figures out how to work with uh, Inosuke. So, yeah. Man, I already miss calling him Boar Man Frank. Oh, well. Ugh. I hate when I get a just one hiccup after I try to drink something. Oh, well. But, yeah. And then we got the uh, the house. The house with the wisteria crest on it, which was interesting. Uh, just a family that they were saved by demon slayers long ago. So they are just a nice, you know, travel stop for them, you know. Get them rested. They have a doctor there. Get them some food. It's good. Now, honestly, like, yeah, they all ended up with broken ribs for various reasons. Tanjiro, Tanjiro just had broken ribs. Uh, Zenitsu got that because of, uh, Inosuke. Inosuke got that because Tanjiro hit him, you know? And, and then there was the, the bump on his head, too. But honestly, um, honestly, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of interesting, you know, they, all three of them have broken ribs. I will say, though, I kind of expected an onsen. Because, look, as a, as a man who watches videos of Japanese things, uh, on YouTube... <laughs> And and nothing else. I would think an onsen would help heal their wounds, soothe their bodies a bit, you know? But, oh well, maybe just the rest. Granted, the rest is very difficult. Well, Inosuke's conked out for the night. He's done, so. I like that he, he puts the, the mask back on to sleep in. I thought that was pretty interesting. So, uh, but then, they're gonna have to work to calm Zenitsu down. Now that he has seen Nezuko. And yeah, even though everything is, oh, very important, you know, to protect the box and uh, and the fact that, oh, you, you know, Tanjiro is traveling with a demon and everything. It's like, nope, it's, he's traveling with a pretty girl. He must die, you know? And so they gotta, they gotta explain to him. No, no, no. It's, it's Tanjiro's sister, you know? Uh... But who knows, maybe maybe that won't even calm down. I don't know. I will say, though, that was kind of a, a funny it, it, but weird place to end it. The, I mean, I, I guess it kind of makes sense. You kind of leave off on a joke, but I don't know. It was just kind of a strange, like, ah, is, yeah, I'm going to freak out about this, and then just the episode ends. Like, oh, I was kind of waiting for the explanation, but, oh, well, there's always next episode, so yeah. Um, but yeah, good episode. Very funny, very interesting, and I'm excited to see where we are going next time. But that is basically it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around any of those. There's a playlist for all of my Demon Slayer reactions, as well as another video you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.